So I've covered this game three times exactly on this channel. Three different videos I've covered this game so far, and I want to cover it again. Why? Because I think that it is pretty cool, and it will be pretty fun to try out um, while we're waiting for TSH to have some content. So I will be uploading some videos on this game over here. Um, again, I'm going to be very honest with you, right? So I don't if I, if I don't like the game, I'm not covering content on it. I'm not playing it. I'm just going to throw it away, right? Some games that happened to me, okay? I played Ultra Impact for a fat two weeks. I enjoyed it. WHM dropped. I got shafted miserably. I quit. I gave up. I'm like, you know what? These raids are not it. Um, so that's what happens, right? So when I, when I play a game, if I don't like the game, I'm not going to stick with it. Um, TSH, on the other hand, I don't know what's happening there. Um, it's been, I, I enjoy the game still, as much as people want to say, how, why do you still play the game? It's still fun. I'm still grinding my uh, my gear and all of that. So I enjoy it, right? But in the future, who knows? Who knows? I'm ca calm down. I'm not leaving just yet. Who knows? But again, with this game, there's definitely a lot of potential here. It's a, it looks like a pretty fun game. I mean, for what I've seen on the uh, the beta, it's actually it's not that bad. The reroll is pretty good too, which I think a lot of people have already talked about. Uh, so you've seen that already most likely. But with it, right? So today, I've already covered three videos on this. The first video be announcing it. Second video was like, hey, guess what? The release date soon. And the third video, two days after um, I said the release date soon, it was the release date's delayed. So those are the three things. Now the fourth video is, hey, it's confirmed again. So be ready for it. Let's talk about that here today. Let's have some fun with it. All right, so first thing, if we head over here, this is the entire uh, delayed announcement, right? So it was planned to release 11.6, which was a fat one or two weeks ago. Um, so that did go down. It was supposed to happen. They said, you know what? Like right before the live stream, the announcement live stream that is the 10th anniversary and what we're doing. They announced a different game, by the way, on that live stream. But this was supposed to go live that day. It did not. It got delayed. It was super depressing. I was like super hyped for the game. Um, but hey, remember... And the famous line of delayed game is always better than a rushed game and, you know, the bugs and all that. Because, again, no one will take back the bugs. They'll know forever that, well, what a buggy game you had. Again, it's good if they, if they really ironed out some things to make sure the launch was as smooth as possible. That's great. So, again, all the delays are welcome if they did proper time um, in, like, fixing stuff, right? So, that's there. That is pretty cool. But with it, we have the official new announcement of when it is dropping. It will be dropping November 21st. We have a little bit of an announcement video here um, confirming that, yes, it is coming very, very soon. And when I say very, very soon, in two days. In two days, it will be here um, available for Global and JP. Um, so a massive freaking W this entry. Um, I didn't expect a release date that soon. So this was announced yesterday, which is the 18th. So they did a three-day announcement. Again, they've been really weird with their announcements. I really kind of hate it. You know, they could have been a little bit more clear that 11.6 was what they were going for. It was like speculation that 11.6 was what they're going for um, for the initial release date. I genuinely don't think they get enough hype around it before they announce it. So like, it's like three days later. Like, hey, we're dropping in three days. No, not, no hype needed. No hype up needed. Guess what? Get ready for it. Um, so I'm, I'm cool with it. It's definitely, um, again, it's just funny. But they could have definitely built a little bit more hype around the game um, before announcing that there's, uh, you know, the release date. They could have been like, hey, release date next week. Be ready for it. And then, like, give it a seven-day countdown. Um, but they, they're getting it on 21st, which is really cool to see. Um, they have confirmed it. So be ready for it. Two days from now, you will have SEO Variant Showdown. Um, so, again, if you're a TSH player, which a majority of you watching this are, guess what? You can go and swap out to this game. Um, temporarily try it out see how it goes again it may not live up to the hype that tsh you know has when it comes to like gameplay and stuff like that i have tried out the gameplay it is fluid it is right so again the graphics may not be up there in some areas it, i see it the animations are a little wonky there's a few things right but it's still really cool i mean again when i played it when i tried it out i'll tell you now it's not bad okay for me being a, an sao fan don't don't hate me for that i'm sorry but it's not sao is pretty good okay people hate on it it's not that bad it's not that bad at all but um, for uh, for it being an SAO game, this is like a dream come true that it's uh, it's a decent game, not one that's gonna get shut down in two. Oh wait, never mind. But they did they just shut down two SAO games, I believe, like this year. So hopefully this one lasts. Hopefully this one lasts. And we also have this like they did like majority of the announcements um, from voice actors and the um, the special issues when this is the, the creator, right? So we had all the stuff like dropping and stuff like that. But yeah, this is the person by the way. If you watch my uh, Grand Cross channel, that's Philo. So. So when we were like uh, doing the entire speculation of who the unit was, I was like, okay, it can be SAO because Rina Hadaka's there, um, or or it's Philo, and it was Philo, right? So um, we did we did get that on point. And when I saw this again, it just had flashbacks of the uh, the now for me stream and the Philo stream again. If it, that's, that's Grand Cross, that's that separate. But yeah, they even had the singer of the theme song in here too. Holy crap! They got everyone to announce it too. Wow. And then JP voice actor Kirito was also there. Wow, they got everyone for this, okay. Uh, they're, they're putting a lot of effort into this, I, I guess, yeah. So, they got the creator here to celebrate the release. They got all the voice actors to celebrate, and the singer, too, imagine that. And they also got, like, the uh, main person that actually handles the game. So, 
or you know whatever you know what i mean but yeah that's really cool i, I just noticed that uh even though i had the tweet open all this time again the delay from 11 6 now officially releasing 11 21 again with the game fully up to you if you want to try it out and see how it goes um it does again have a lot of potential yes i understand people saying the graphics aren't there but it i think personally it is a good game to try on the side and again if you are a tsh player as exactly why i keep mentioning it it's an open kind of play style you can actually control your character it's not turn-based right so for example turn-based games that i've been covering grand cross uh black lord mobile over here those are turn-based which means there's a high chance you're not playing it because you like open world games you like to be able to control your character fight like that this game has that right it has the dash ability the switch out ability um switch members out and uh, turn the battle into your favor so again remember it does have a lot of those things the combo things the damage uh multiplier and all of that so the more hits you get the more damage you get it's it's really cool right so again i'm telling you try it out see how it goes there's also going to be a pvp mode by the way right so in the coming months they said like I don't know. I don't know exactly. I'll take that back. They didn't say an exa exact date, but they said soon after launch, uh, which I would say, what, um, pushing the end of December, early January, maybe February. Um, again, that's what soon can always add up to be, but they're going to be adding a battle royale mode where you just go into an arena with a bunch of players and you just mob each other and try to uh win and just i don't know sounds cool sounds like it has a lot of potential also um again real time uh pvp is always a problem in majority of games that i've played but you know maybe they can do it right maybe they can actually uh chalk it up to be something nice again tsh pvp whatever it is um being i play on eu here and there um uh, just like for memes or for content or for whatever um it actually checks out to be not bad recently the pvp uh i think ping is pretty good could be like no players are left in the game so like the ping is just checking out i don't know but it works right so again you know this could be really cool the, the entire uh, battle royale aspect of it um but remember the character collection all of this stuff was really cool the infinite reroll a game that has infinite reroll is already a good game you do not have to sit there there's a game that released recently nikkei oh my god rerolling on that game was a nightmare bro you had to go through a 20 minute tutorial you got to keep making like 30 different alt emails it was a pain all right a freaking pain if you look at ultra impact that's why i liked it so much infinite reroll always is welcome right so whenever they do it that means like hey your whole entire uh, grind is like kind of you know like you can start off sooner playing the game like you don't have to sit there for hours on end re-rolling for a specific character guess what the character maker thingy whatever is right there for you it's easy right so i don't know another cool little uh, little aspect of the game that is uh again pretty nice with it releasing in two days i will be covering content on it so again i'll make it clear that yes you may see less tsh videos over the next course of few days but again i'm not quitting tsh i'm still going to be covering it um again i don't know how they're doing their content updates i don't know what's happening if there's a new character i don't know how i'm gonna cover this because uh the character drops on wednesday this game drops on monday so i'll do two days of just pure seo content then back to tsh for a fat week because um you know it's always the best time to play when a character's there literally the best time so that's where uh currently stands just know that that's my uh, entire plan for the channel um but again i'm not quitting tsh i will be playing this on the side trying it out seeing how it goes and i'll let you know if it's worth it if it's actually a fun game to try out i'll be completely honest with you i don't know there's potential i, I like sao and i like this game and i like open uh like open play style um tsh style it's kind of like that so i'm happy i'm i'm excited i'll catch you tomorrow peace and enjoy or day after peace out enjoy